Yeah. How many interviews did you do? So, uh, one of the lucky ones. Uh -huh. one Only one interview? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And you got a job offer? Yeah. All yeah. right. Yeah. And then when you got your certificate, that is when you went to get your visa? Yeah, visa. That's where I used to apply for my CEO, for the visa now. What's up everybody? Jambo Habariyenyu. Hope you are all doing well. Today we are on a trip to the beach, another beach. Here is called South Port. The weather is lovely. We are making the most of it whilst it's still nice and sunny here in the UK. So let's go and show you yet another beach here in the UK. <laughs> guys i am back like i never left and obviously like you can see we are enjoying the sun here we are enjoying in the seaside here in the uk and guys i have a surprise for you i want to bring you somebody that i want to tell you about um ways of coming to the uk they have come to the uk on a skilled worker visa we have brought him oh we, we have brought him here in the sea to come and enjoy all the way from kenya he got a skilled worker visa and he is here with us guys allow me to introduce to you one and the only mike right there is mike guys do you want to say hi to everybody mike hello everyone yeah so mike has come all the way from kenya so he's going to tell us how he managed to get his skilled worker visa from Kenya and he is right here in the UK with us enjoying the last of the summer here in the UK Mike. You haven't experienced winter, we are about to enter winter but this is the last of the summer holiday. So we brought you here, this area is called Southport. Yes, so he's learning areas over here. But before we do that, do you want to tell guys who your names are? What, what are your names? Okay, my names are Michael Toroge Kagwe. I'm from uh, Kenya, I'm going to be specific. Um, yeah, I'm an ass. Wow. Wow, so you got a skilled worker visa, you applied from Kenya? Yeah, from Kenya. So a, a lot of people, when I talk and I tell people that it is possible to get a skilled worker visa from Kenya, they ask me, how do you do that? So what was the process? What did you do? Um, I say after the interview, right from the beginning, you get your seal, you get your files, from CDC. Mm -hmm. also you present them to your employer. Mm -hmm. Once they have it, we have an interview for you. Mm -hmm. After that, you uh, pass the interview. Mm -hmm. and then, uh, then you have to pass the interview. Uh -huh. yeah. One of the lucky ones. Uh -huh. one Only one interview. Only one. Wow. Yeah. And you got a job offer? Yeah. All right. Yeah. And then when you got your certificate, that is when you went to get your visa. Yeah, visa. That's where I used to apply for my CEO for the visa now. Yeah. So you get the COS. The COS tells you your start date here in the UK. Exactly. And then you go and apply for the visa. Yeah. You see, they indicate the date for you there, uh -huh. and then uh, it tells you the expiry of the COS, uh -huh. so you can use it to apply for your visa. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. Let, let's keep working. So, a lot of people are asking whether you can use agencies, and I keep telling people you don't need to use an agency. Did you have to use an agency or you apply directly? I applied directly. I would highly uh, recommend to use agencies uh -huh. because uh, I think it's just a uh, knowledge. You just uh, watch these videos, you know, mm -hmm. uh, gain some knowledge. Yeah. I think you people, you people to do uh, well on your own. Yeah. yeah. So you see, guys, those of you who are asking about agencies, you actually don't need an agency. Mike applied directly. He didn't need an agency to do anything. He did the application himself. And the only time he made the payment was when he went to pay for the visa. Is that correct? The only time is you pay, which is what I keep telling you guys, is when you're going to pay for your visa to come to the UK, that's the only time you need to pay. Because that party agencies in Kenya, especially if you're coming from Kenya, have been banned from making advertisement so you cannot apply and even mike is saying he highly recommends that you do this 
by yourself without choosing a third party agency. All right, so how are you finding the UK, Mike? Uh, it's great. Uh, I would say it's good. Uh, it's more better. It's but uh, for the weather, it's a bit, uh, I would say, warmer. <laughs> <laughs> it's, yeah. it's very hot for now. Yeah, yeah. But right, right. it's not going to remain like this. Uh -huh. it, it's going to be start. So right now is summer, so we call this season summer season. And then it's going to start getting cold and cold and cold as we enter winter. And you will experience a cold you have never ever felt. Okay. It's not the Limuru cold. No. no. <laughs> I love that. The temperatures are down. It's okay for me. It's, it's not going to be like what you're used to. It's going to be more than what you're used to. We had a bit. Yeah, yeah. So one thing, I don't want to keep you for long because we want to enjoy this uh, waters around here. One thing you can tell my viewers when they're making an application, for those of you who keep asking, what tip can you tell them? I would say uh, just really watch this video. I've learned a lot mm. from this YouTube video. Mm -hmm. And like uh, using the agency, the first way you they will really uh, take your money. Mm. It will not be helpful. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So guys, keep watching these videos. You see, they help. Watch the video, listen to what I keep telling you, follow the instructions step by step, and you will be able to get your own COS and also get your own visa, come to the UK and enjoy with us. Mike is here, he's already working, he's been posted in a job here in the UK, so he is already working and enjoying life in the UK. Why not you? So the, one of the requirements to come here in the UK yeah. is that you have to have a certificate of English. Okay. So you have to undertake ILETS. Okay. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, is that so? You do the ILETS in Kenya? Yeah, you do. We do the ILETS in Kenya, so uh -huh. you can prepare your ILETS certificate. Oh. Okay. And there are places that people can book to do ILETS in Kenya? Yeah, there are many. Colleges actually they book for you and tell you the place that you're going to do your IELTS uh -huh. so that um, you'll be able to prepare yourself. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. So IELTS is a requirement for those of you guys who keep asking. You have to have IELTS. Of course, unless you have like a degree. If you have a degree, you know you don't have to do the IELTS. And then you don't, of course, need to do another exam. But if if um, you are required to do an IELTS, Mike is telling you that there are places where you can undertake islets in Ke in Kenya. You need that for the visa. You need that for the for the employer. Oh, for the employer. Yeah, for the employer. All right. So you need the islets for the employer, guys. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So you just need to book your islets online. Mm -hmm. You can do that online, but you have to go for training of the islets. So if you can people can do islets before they even have their job application yeah yeah that's so what, that's you have it in place yeah. yeah so the first step guys is to get your eyelets yeah. in place get your eyelets uh -huh. train well uh -huh. don't go for online uh -huh. training uh -huh. yeah yeah just with the physical classes yeah, yeah. well on the after that yeah i'm 100 sure yeah you're gonna pass your eyelets excellent excellent yeah. all right guys those are your tips for today when you finally get here in the uk do you go straight to work? No, actually, uh, the trust uh, takes you to give you accommodation uh -huh. for like, uh, let's say, at least a month. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, you do your classes for the OSK, uh -huh. you train for the whole month, uh -huh. then from there, uh, they'll book the exam for you, pay for you, then uh, from there. Yeah. You can do your OSCE, then after you done with your OSCE, that's when you can start your trust. Oh, right. Yeah. So then now you get a PIN. So when you do, the exam is to give you now a, a UK PIN, yeah, PIN yeah. registration PIN, exactly. to, to work as a nurse here in the UK. Yeah, yeah, okay. Wow, that is very interesting. I didn't know that is the process. Yeah. So guys, follow uh, this video. Share, share, share this video. It has a lot of information on the process of how to make an application from outside the UK and how you finally end up getting to the UK and getting the skilled worker visa. Anyway guys, that's a very short video for today and until I come back with another video, let's continue enjoying. I say Baraka. Let's tell people Baraka Mike. Baraka. Baraka.